Hey, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kwakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to, do, want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth and risk life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the videos edifying. Lord willing, Akim get something from this video. I was watching the. Uh, Apostle Gabar's video earlier. Um, it's called uh what is it called? It's uh some about um basically it was about, you know, simps. You know what I mean? And about uh, you know, men who give their ways uh up to you know, to women. You know, and a lot of men in the world, right, they bow down to the to the feet of a woman, not knowing, well, even knowing, but some knowingly, right? Um not knowing that you know the man is supposed to be the 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 head of the household and really a woman don't really want you to bow down to her but they have a thing called test or a shit test where they'll test you and see if you know see what kind of man that they're dealing with it if you giving in to every you know thing that she does or giving in to you know her little ways and her little little entrapments which is wicked Right. Because she's not a woman is not supposed to be doing that to you. But we live in an age where they do that shit to you. You know what I mean? But if you fail the test, then that woman is going to look for another man who is not going to fail the test. You understand what I'm saying? So be not weak for women, man. You know, you tell a bitch what it is, man. And that's what it is. You know, you got to learn how to put your fucking foot down. See, the majority. See, if a woman come deal with a, a brother in a word, right, a brother in the truth. OK, it's, it's going to be it's completely different. It will should be completely different than if, than the last man in the world, the last man, because they were in the world that she dealt with. You know what I mean? It should be completely fucking different. She said she should have a completely different experience. So the same bullshit that because she's going to try it on you. Right. Whatever thing she did, whatever things that she did to. um make that man lose his mind or make that man follow and chase after her. She's going to try that shit on you. And you got to be able to put your fucking foot down. Right. And, and, and deal with whatever come with it. If the bitch go, then she go. If she stayed, then she stay. And then she's going to test you again and again and again and again. And that's what you just got to deal with, with the society that we live in, man. Okay, you know, they have access to so much shit at their fingertips that you can't really even be worried about what a bitch got going on, man. Here it is. Like, I just left the gym, right? Um, and these bitches in there half naked with makeup on working out. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That just goes to show you, you know, what kind of society and what kind of uh, uh, rulership that we live in, man, to where this shit is permitted. This shit is allowed. This shit is cool. Right. You know, this shit is like. You know, um, you know, it's acceptable or really is unacceptable. OK, you know, but, you know, you know, you know, a woman through her, her how he looks, man. You know, or through it, like you look at her fucking eyelashes, man. Read all that shit, man. Look how she walk. Look how she talk. Look how she present herself. Don't don't worry about what she say. Look at the things that she do. It's not so much about what she say. It's about what she do, man. But, you know, they, they're full of snares and traps, man, and nets and if you wise, if you use wisdom, you have to learn how to how to move around and maneuver around that shit, man. OK, and really, that you know, you learn how to uh, uh, put your motherfucking foot down. You know, they'll follow you and chase after you. OK, but you got a lot of men who, you know, who ain't got no nuts about themselves, you know, but this is Proverbs 31 and one. Let me grab this. It says the words of King uh, Lemuel. The prophecy that his mother taught him. OK, so he learned this from a woman and this is a woman telling him about women. OK, my mom did this to me, too. It says what my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows give not thy strength unto women, nor that ways to that which destroyeth kings. I'm going to run that back, man. OK, you call yourself a, a king. You in this word, you call yourself a king. You can't fall victim or short to a bitch, man. Okay. Now, granted, right? If your woman be pleased to dwell with you, this I'm not talking to you. Okay. If your woman be pleased to dwell with you, as the scriptures say, let her dwell. 
Okay, but you got women out here, you know, running all these, trying to run game and, you know, thinking that she, you know, running game on you, man. She, listen, man. Scripture says she don't have any wisdom. You have wisdom. You got the mind. Use it. Use the one with the brain, man. Use the head with the brain. Not the one with the veins. Use the one with the brain, not the one with the veins, man. Okay, this is Proverbs 31 and 3 again. It says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings, man. So don't give your strength unto these women, especially now. Like, you know, with all the shit that's going on, I mean, rappers being put to death, all this shit that's going on, man. You'll be a fool, right, to <laughs> to give your ways to a, 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 a fucking female of this wicked-ass society, man. Okay, scriptures also tell you, keep your mouth from her, man. Don't tell her everything. Okay, you got men that that tell a woman everything. They woman be swearing up and down that that they want, you know, that uh they want to know everything. But you know, as soon as a nigga get off the phone, as soon as one of you niggas get off the phone with your woman, as she didn't punch you of her of you uh, telling everything, she laughing. And guess what? She gonna go right on social media, see who in her DM, see what the last dude, you know, who liked their picture. She gonna entertain them. Right. And as soon as you fuck up, she's going to justify that fuck up on why she's going to fuck with him. That's the society we live in, man. OK. But, you, you know, you even thinking like you ever think that happened, that's happening with your woman man. put your motherfucking foot down. If that bitch go, go. And that scripture says she, um, you know, don't you know, you sometimes you're going to have to write her a bill of divorce. Tell that bitch skedaddle, man. <laughs> Period. OK. Listen, man, I, I've, I've dealt with this, man. You know, I'm, you know, and I'm not, I'm speaking from, I'm not telling you nothing. I don't know. It's been times where I had to put my fucking foot down and cut the, and write the bitch a bill, a bill of divorce, even when I didn't want to, you know, it's been times where I juggled women, different women, right? Two women at a time, three women, women at a time where, you know, sometimes you don't want to be letting them go, let them go. But sometimes you got to, especially if they get in the way of this truth, you got to, man. Okay. You got to keep your wits about yourself, man. Okay. It's first edges four and 21. It says he sticketh. Yeah. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country. This is 22. It says by this also, you must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Okay. Now, us in this truth, women shouldn't have dominion over us, man. Again, use your mind. Use the wisdom that the Lord gave you. The Lord didn't give the woman wisdom, man. Okay? Use the wisdom that the Lord gave you, man, to move, to, to be two or three or four or five steps in front of this bride, man. I done seen dudes fall victim to this shit, man. And, then, man, it's just, I could go on and on and on and on and on about the, the tricks and the snares of, of, this, of this devil, man. That you niggas love this devil in a skirt, man. Okay, it's twenty three. It says, "Yeah, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers. He do all this shit and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth he bringeth it to his love. So when he did all this shit, all this mighty shit." He bring it to his woman and he do it for who his woman. OK, a brother's brother should be familiar with the story of uh, Samson and Delilah. Right. You got to ask yourself, well, how did Samson lose his power? OK. <laughs> and how slick was Delilah? OK, I'm telling you, man, don't let that 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 canal between their legs fool you, man. First, listen. First of all, nine times out of ten, it, it ain't yours, okay? It was another dude's before it was yours, man. You know, always remember that. It was another man's before it was yours. And the same noise that she making for you, she made for the last couple dudes or multiple dudes or several dudes that she laid down with. This is just the society we live in. It's the harsh truth. It's harsh reality. But it is what it is, man. It swallow the pill. Swallow the pill, man. Swallow this tough-ass pill. Right and maneuver. Okay. 
It's reality, man. It is what it is, man. You know, you can't be... Listen, man, get out your fucking feelings when it comes to this woman, man. Because she'll drive you mad and toy with you like you a puppet if you allow her to. Okay? It says, um, Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. I know dudes who will steal from their brother, steal from their mother to please a woman. Okay? <laughs> it says, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. So it's many that, that, that's, that, you know, that have been, that have ran out of there, that lost their fucking mind for a woman. You ain't lost your mind for a woman. For a woman. It says, and you know, and when you get done with the chick, you don't even be wanting her no more, man. But some dudes still want her. You overly in love with this woman, man. That ain't even yours. She's not even yours. It's 27, it says. <laughs> oh, I'm going to finish. It says, and become servants for their sakes. You become a servant for their sakes. When she's supposed to be your servant? Listen, the one with the brain, not the one with the veins, man. Okay? <laughs> says, many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women, okay? And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? 29, it says, yet did I see him, and upon me the king's concubine, the daughter of the uh, admirable Bardicus, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from the king's head. So she's toying with him, a, lot, uh, 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 a horse playing with him. Dis and that's disrespect. You don't take the crown, a woman take the, you don't never take the crown off a of king's head, man. And setting it upon her own head. So subconsciously she's saying, I'm, she the king. And you have women with the same Mentality that this concubine had actually 90, you know, 98, 99.9, 98.9 percent of these women have that same uh, mentality, but they they show it through their actions. You know, here it is. She'll go through your shit. She'll go through your phone. Where you been? Where you at? I know you ain't. I know you ain't. Where you? What you mean? Why you at the gym for so long? Why you this? Why you that? Man, you got to put an end to that shit. Put your fucking foot down. Okay? <laughs> it says, and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand. She hit him. You have this to this day. This is the mentality of these women to this day. You hear it in the music. You see it in their actions. Come on, man. Don't be fooled by that. By that I'm telling you. That little thing just don't get wet for you, home team. Trust me. Trust me. So move like it. And if you're dealing with a, a, a woman outside of your woman, man, you better have a have a jacket on, man. Have a have a hard hat on, man. <laughs> Put your hazmat suit on, man. You know? Regardless of how she looks, don't be fooled by the ass and titties, man. Don't be fooled by that mouth and that and that thing between their legs, man. Don't be fooled by how good she do that. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Repetition is the father of skill. <laughs> so if she good at it, just remember that. Okay? And I don't want to be so harsh, right? But at the same time, I got to be honest, man. I have to be honest with you. Okay? Because they out here playing with men's lives, man. What you had, that rapper that just died? Trouble? Right? Trouble? He died. One man got life in jail. All behind this bitch's vagina, man. One man is in jail for life. One man is dead. And all she got was a couple punches to the motherfucker face. She gonna heal up and do it all over again, man. Don't be fucking fooled. Okay, it says, 
I'm gonna run back 30, I'm run 30 back. It says, and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand. And yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with with open mouth. She's probably looking at him like, you, 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 man. Ain't no telling what she was thinking about this man. You think she viewed him as a king after that? See, look, a woman has to fear you, man. She got to fear you. She got to fear that she'll leave her ass. You know? You'd rather be feared by a woman than loved by a woman. Yeah, a woman will love you, right? But she'll she'll love you and bounce on another man's ride. You know? As a matter of fact, she'll be so in love with you that you'll make her mad. And the fact that she's so in love with you, she'll try to make you mad by bouncing on another man's ride. But if she fears you, she'll think twice about that shit. And use her second thought. Okay. It says, and yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with with open mouth. If she laughed, if she laughed upon him, he laughed also. Right. <laughs> Being her fucking dancing monkey, man. It says, but if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter. You know what that means, right? So as soon as she get this, you know, as soon as she, if she took any, did anything that, if she may, if, if he think that she don't like something, he'll hurry up and try to please her. Flatter her. You know? <laughs> that she might be reconciled to him again. Okay? Oh, you men, how can it be but women should be strong seeing that they do thus? Then the king and the princes looked up one upon another, so he began to speak of the truth. So that goes to show you, man. That was the point. That goes to show you, right? This is the same mentality that they have now, and they do it through their actions, man. Ain't no way in the fucking world she was she should be able to get away with that. And she's a fucking concubine. Right, come on, man. Put your fucking foot down. Remember, man, think with the one with the brain. Not the one with the veins. The one with the brain, brothers. Okay? Lord willing, listen. Matter of fact, uh, uh, what's that scripture? What is it? It's an apocryphal tool. Um, what is it, man? Uh, it's not this. I don't think it's in this passage. Let me see. Bear the courage to make it. Uh... Yeah, right here. Yep, perfect. This is Sirach 25 and 16. It says, I had rather dwell with the lion and a dragon than to keep a house with the wicked woman. See, this, I would rather dwell with the lion and a dragon than to keep a house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. And you could tell. Uh, uh, you know, you could tell a harlot in her face, man. You could tell a harlot through her conversation, the way she walked, the way she talked, the way she looked, her mannerisms. You could tell. Okay, it said, look at her eyelashes, man. She got them, them uh, cum catchers on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better believe it. You better believe it. 18 is... <laughs> her, and and I, ain't, I don't mean to be funny, man, but this shit is... It, it got to be talked about. You know? Man, look, I didn't been delivered out of some out of a. I'll make a video, you know, on the testimony next time, right? But you brothers will see why, Lord willing, I could, you know, the spirit on me to give my testimony about what happened to me, you know, and I was I was delivered out of it. But you brothers will see why how I learned, man, you know, in in the water Yahweh Bahashimi Yahweh call her lawyer, Yahweh Bahashimi Yahweh for putting that spirit on me to to lace up my boots and kick that bitch to the curb, man. OK, you know, but it's men who I mean, a woman was so beautiful, right, that I had, you know, and this was my woman of three years, two and a half years, three years and a uh, little foreign chick, man, you know, from the, from the Middle East. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, the woman was so beautiful, man. I mean, you had, you know, her own cousins trying to marry her, you know what I mean? Which is I thought it was kind of weird, you know what I mean? But you had men that worked with her that. That was just after her, man, and it was it was hell. You know what I mean? It was it was hell, man. But 
I was the one she was after for a moment. You know what I mean? But over the years, the bitch was getting proud, 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 proud. And I'll go deeper into the story once I get the testimony, you know, but, you know, I had to cut that bitch off, right? Or a bill of divorce. I got the spirit to, I think I prayed and, and, you know, and the Lord gave me the spirit to cut her off, man. You know, and a sinner fell upon her. Now she pregnant by a two third nigga. <laughs> now, mind you, man, I was trying to, you know, I was, I was, man, I was so motherfucker. Listen, man, I was so, uh, uh, I was blinded by her beauty for a, a moment. You know what I mean? To where, you know, I was even, you know, shooting the cannon, you know, but she could never, she never got pregnant by me, man. You know, and the Lord delivered me out of that. You know what I mean? Because just imagine if I would have got that harlot pregnant. You know, and it turned out, I mean, you know, once I broke up with her, the same night, brothers, the same night, she sent me like 200 text messages about how, I'm probably over-exaggerating, it's probably like 100 text messages on how, when I broke up with her. That same night, she sent me like 100 text messages talking about, you know, basically like wanting me back and all that, but she was drunk texting and all this shit. Then she sent me a picture of some dude she was with and her homegirls. Okay, but I escaped that shit, man. And I ain't and I I, ne I didn't talk to her ever again after that. She blew me up after that. You know, called me, text me. Even a couple months down the line, even a couple months down the line, um, you know, even a couple months down the line, she sent me a a, a fucking book, a paragraph, and a text message that I ain't reading, that I haven't read. It's been two or three years I ain't read that shit. All the way through, man. Fuck that. Now she pregnant by a two third nigga. <laughs> yeah, this is Sarah twenty five <laughs> and seventeen. The wickedness of a woman changes her face, and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. Uh, <laughs> her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So look, all wickedness. Is little compared to the wickedness of a woman. You could just imagine the shit that, that they don't tell you that they've done, man. Come on, man. And brothers know, man, when you get a woman completely aroused, there's nothing she won't fucking do. Sometimes you got to stop her. Hey, hey, hold on. We ain't, no, we ain't doing that. You know? <laughs> you know? It, it, they freaky as desires come out. You like, hold on, man. This shit, hold on. on some 50... Shades of gray I'm cool on that, baby. I don't the hell no. Nah. <laughs> 21, it says stumble not. Hey, man, you got to watch it. Okay. It says stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Okay. 23, it says a wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. And, and that's not a lie. It says in a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, maketh weak hands and feeble knees of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her. We all die. Give the water. No passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. Yeah, don't go. I'm telling you, don't give her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you could go out, baby. She going out every week. And come on, man. I'm telling you, you know, what the fuck is out there? She got you at the house. You know? And I tell brothers this too, you know, you could, you know, you know, a woman by, if you take her out, how she dressed, because the more provocative she dressed, she putting your fucking life at risk, man. You know, well, I ain't gonna say our life because we in this true, we use wisdom, right? But a two third, you know, that, that go out with his woman and she dressing all cleavage out, ass all out, you know, in a, in a, in a man come up to her and why he, and you know. A man come up to her while a two-third dude is with her and say something. Oh, man, you got some fat-ass titties. Oh, you got some. Oh, yeah, I would love to. Do it. And her man right there, what you think the man going to do? But had she just had covered up, that wouldn't have fucking happened, most likely. But she just has to be a harlot. Don't fall for the, sh the okie doke, man. 26, it says, if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. That bitch go for the birds, man. Put that bitch in the, she ain't for the streets, man. Put her in the HOV lane. Okay? Seriously, man. 
You know, all jokes aside, man, don't, don't be fooled by these women. I pray that I don't get fooled by no woman. I pray that you brothers don't get fooled by no woman. The Sophia is the only woman. Sophia is our main woman, which is this wisdom, this word, man. You know? Pray that the Lord guides you with these women, man. And, you know, he'll throw you a blessing every now and again. You know? But uh, put this first. Put this true first, man. Okay? So with that, man, a little bit on the videos, edifying, lowly, I can got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Akwa Kadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next. Shalom.